is about pushing the envelope. And this metaphor here is about pushing your envelope as an individual. The pushing the envelope mindset has a couple of unique traits or skills. The teams that have it, they're able to demonstrate three things, courage, trust, and vulnerability. And it's this idea of courage, trust, and vulnerability that I wanna share some stories with you today and some actionable tools in hopes that you can look through the challenges that you're going through as an individual or the challenges that you and your team are going through in just a slightly different way. We all make an agreement to each other that when we hit turbulence, we're gonna loosen our grip. Loosen our grip. The exact opposite of your inclination and my inclination when we hit turbulence. Everybody else in this room and everybody who works with you and for you comes to work to do their best. Let them take pride in what they do. What does it mean to be the best? And I kind of chuckle when I get asked that because I, Nicole Malachowski, have never individually been the best at anything I've ever done. But I have been a part of some of the very best teams. Steel sharpened steel. What did I mean by that? What I meant was we have a wingman contract. We have an agreement about our professional standards and behaviors and measures of performance and out of caring and commitment. I'm gonna hold you accountable to those. That was our gentleman's handshake and our gentlewoman's agreement. And a few months later, when I relinquished command to move to my next assignment, the squadron gave me a gift. It's tradition that the gift stays in the squadron and it was a giant sign and that sign still sits. It's the first thing you see. The sign says this, Lancers, that's who we were. Prepare for battle, that's what we did. Dot, 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 steel sharpened steel. The single greatest accomplishment of my military career, the thing I am the most proud of, was shifting a fighter pilot culture towards one of vulnerability. It grew trust and it grew our elite team performance. And when I think about headwinds, I think about them coming from three different places. The times that you have to overcome self-doubt, the times that you have to adapt to organizational or cultural change, and the times that you have to deal with the completely unexpected in your life. What does it take to stay in front of the competition? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that you don't keep doing and following the path that's already been plowed before, you plow your own. But what we're doing in these formations is we're changing, right? We change from one formation to another formation, constantly changing the maneuvers in front of the crowd. And it's, it's a metaphor to me for organizational and cultural change, right? Change in your personal life or change in your professional life is hard. I looked around at the other five pilots, amazing pilots in the Air Force, as someone who thought she was a good fighter pilot and experienced, as someone who was frustrated with this new maneuver. I was frustrated with having to change the way I had to fly. I looked around and one of the hardest things I ever did in my career was say these three words. I need help. I need help. And I feared looking weak and I feared not being able to do something like that strong experienced fighter pilot. But you know what happened? My teammates stopped and for two days we did that maneuver over and over and over again until I got it right. What does a wingman contract do? It enables and empowers each and every person on a team or in an organization like this to make independent and decisive decisions at the time they need to do it that will always be aligned with the mission and the purpose of your organization and your team. It is never beneath any of us to ask for help or to offer help when it's needed. It's all of you working together and helping each other that's going to move us forward through this. To be honest, the wingman contract, when I say that, I mean the, the culture, right? Honor our agreement and commitment to each other on our professional standards and our professional behaviors. The wingman contract is more than just doing your job. It's the who are we? What is our mission? What is it that we value and why do we prioritize it the way that we do? When in doubt, always honor the wingman contract. Trust starts with you. You build trust on teams by being completely dependable and trustworthy in the role that you have been called to do. When you're performing at the highest level, you can always get better at something. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to offer help. It's the right thing to do by the wingman contract. So I had a dream to one day become an Air Force Thunderbird pilot. 
And for every choice I've made that's led to professional or personal success since then, I have said this to myself. Nobody wants to lead a scripted life. The next time you feel different, the next time you have a gnarly idea or a gnarly goal, remind yourself of that. The runway behind you is unusable. All you ever have is the runway in front of you. Now, nearly two years ago, my military career ended very unexpectedly. I was medically retired after being found 100% quote, unfit for duty, end quote, due to late stage tick-borne illness. August 2016, with them still not knowing what was wrong with me, I woke up one day and I could no longer talk. I was slurring my words. I could no longer walk safely, massive vertigo. I had dementia-like symptoms. I could no longer care for myself. They had to bring in a caregiver to take care of me. When you find yourself in a position like this, don't waste energy on things you can't control. Yield to overcome and think about the difference between resilience and resurgence. I sincerely wish you all blue skies and tailwinds, but I also wish you a few headwinds along the way.